So what's next? What's next is the uh, AM antenna. Let's take a close look at the situation here. The AM antenna. Okay. It's a single coil. There's the two leads. All frayed away. Well, that one's not frayed. This other one is frayed. That's interesting. So I should be able to recognize which end is which. When I look at the radio here, we'll see. I'm pretty sure the connections were made right up here. That's my guess. Okay, so you can see something hanging there. like the silvery one. Boy, hard to see. It's a little bit better. Well, that might be the frayed one. Let's see if we can see the other. The other one. The other one may have broken right off the... Uh, where is it? got to be these two pins here. And they go right through that thing. Wow, it looks like you probably should be soldering on this side. Uh, they didn't. They soldered them. Here. Where else could these wires possibly go? There's really nowhere else they can reach to but those two pins. They have to go on there. And now it's a question of can I get the coil on backwards? Like, uh, you know, polarity mixed up. Is that even an issue with an antenna like this? I'm not sure to be honest with you. You can put those wires on backwards. What kind of effect would that have on a radio? I don't know. You know, on one hand, I think, well, it shouldn't have any effect, but all that really means is I don't know what effect it might have. Let's look at that last, the piece of wire that's hanging out there. I'd say it has a frayed end. Take a look with my magnifying glass and see. Yeah, there's some. There's definitely freight. It's definitely freight. So that's the freight end, and then the other end, which has the solder on it, must have broke right off at the connector, and that's why we can't see any wires sticking out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to take a look with my magnifying glass. Sometimes the camera, uh, for me, as I'm doing this work, just doesn't do the trick. Hey, look, I'm using my sore arm. I'm making a big deal out of nothing here. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is uh, tin the end of this wire. Make it easy to connect.
too big. Go in my little clip. Now I have to let my soldering iron warm up. I didn't have it on. Duh. And in the meantime. What can we do? Well, that's the AM antenna, so we can actually run this radio on FM. We could do that. Give me a further check of the uh, tuning. Yeah, let's continue on with the tuning while my soldering iron is warming up. I better put an antenna on it or we're going to be disappointed right off the bat. I can't tell what's what. Here's all the antenna connections up here. The ones you plug into are on the back here. I can get at them here with a clip lead pretty easy. So we can turn the set on and we can mess around until we get the right connection. But I'll just get it ready here. And now my high tech outdoor antenna. Take a guess and put it here. Now we gotta set up the power supply here. supply. Very high voltage through here. So let's let's cover that. Not exactly a hundred percent but Better than wide open. That's just a little bit of masking tape. In fact, it's painter's tape. It's the worst masking tape to use <laughs> in a shop like this. It has no stickiness. But that'll do. Now, okay, so the power is connected over here. Just checking it for safety. That looks good. in the speakers are connected volume control balance bass treble this must be the volume here even though the label says multiplex control but I really think that's labeling a little tiny light sure that's the volume. I think we're all set. The set is you know, like a lot of these uh, radios, European style radios, you cannot operate the push buttons when you have the radio sitting flat on your bench because they expect in regular installation there's clearance under here. So I cannot operate any of these buttons this way. So let's prop it up a little bit. off you heard the click it's an exciting moment here I'm not sure there's anything we really need to monitor on it in terms of voltage or anything like that I think we can just switch it on I'll certainly switch it on with current limiting in Pretty large current limiting. Let me just raise the camera a bit more. You can watch the light go. So this this is the bulb that's going to glow. 
when I first turned this uh, set on. I think we're ready. Here we go. Okay, so I'm feeding power now to it, but its own switch is off, so nothing's happening. I get, to, <laughs> I get pretty anxious when I go to do these things. Okay, so here's the AM button. Here we go. Yeah. I don't think anything at all happened. Something like that. Okay, got voltage in the plug. You can see it on this meter here. 125 volts. The set did not come on. Could be everything from just a loose, uh, loose plug in the outlet. That's almost, uh, almost for sure what it is. Uh, let me t turn the power off. I don't want to fool with this plug here. You know these things are notorious. These hard plastic plugs. They're notorious for see how easy the plug goes in and out, so it's probably just that. A little snugger in this one. Oh, I see what it is now. I see what it is. The wire pulled off here. So nothing ever made it into the radio. Okay, that's good. Now we know what it was. Basically, not plugged in. Okay, now it's plugged in. Once again, the utmost of caution. Everything's okay. Here we go. This time the AM button is down, so it's going to come on right away. So watch for the light bulb. Here we go. Wow! <laughs> that's a bright light bulb. But that's not surprising. It's a big radio. So that light's almost full. I'm watching it dull down. It's dulling down. That's good. Supply voltage is very low. Somewhere around 60 volts right now. So I'm going to put the second light bulb in. That'll bring the uh, power almost up to normal. Up to normal. If there was a serious problem in the radio, these lights would still be glowing. You see them coming out a bit? That's a good sign. Everything is good. Double thumbs up. Now here's some sound. Yeah, I can see the magic eyes come on. And we're on AM. What am I doing on AM? Because we have no AM antenna. That's kind of dumb. Let's go to FM. Turn a little volume up. Oh, doesn't that sound like FM radio to me? Now let's tune it. They're all great songs, but I can't stop there. I'll get a copyright to hit. Maybe not from that song. <laughs> oh, I love all these songs, but I can't stay there. It's a great Canadian band, that one. This one here? Can't leave it there. Well, anyway, she's working. Country presents the Zach Brown Band for not one, but two shows at the Molson Canadian Amphitheater, August 21st and 22nd. Both channels. Get full ticket information online anytime at kxcountry.fm. Let's try the tone controls. Very bright signal. August 21st and 22nd, presented by KX Country, Base. Canada's number one country. It's back! Get in the car. We're going to OLG slots at Ajax Dale. But why? What's that? The great Balance. summer giveaway, patio furniture, and an outdoor spa. Nice! But oh, an outdoor kitchen, and an ATV. Whoa! Yeah, and cash all at once. The great summer giveaway at OLG slots at Ajax Dale. Yeah, we'll try a little experiment here in my shop. Yeah, stereo. Microphones, why not? Why not? Why not 
can't do this. Who I am. Thanks to your support, this year I'll Fruitless move the balance control. We're able to help deserving kids from your community realize their potential and discover strengths they didn't know they had. Tim Horton Children's Foundation, hmm. where kids discover their best. This year, you helped send 133 kids from Durham Region to Tim Horton. That's Center. interesting. Thank the you. balance control is not 100%. Until Robin, my co-worker, got really sick. And I had no idea it could take up to five donors to help just one person. And what I mean by that is it, it doesn't actually move the signal all the way to one channel or all the way to the other. It just moves it a little bit back and forth. A little unusual. don't like that hum I'm hearing, but I think I'll ignore that now. So that's great. FM's working. So we can get on with uh, putting on the AM antenna. Switch off. While we do that, there we go. Just pull the plug out for double safety. Now, first things first, let me trim off a little wee bit of uh, extra string here. cutters on string. That's what scissors are for. Just worry that little tail of string is going to get tangled at some point. some tinning there. solder on there. Good. So we'll, we'll fix the antenna back in place. They'll do that with tie wraps. This tie wrap's going to end up right in the area where I'm soldering, so maybe I'll hold off that one. Put it on the other end here. Okay, that's pretty tight right there. Okay. Very good. Do this from this angle. Shouldn't take much to get those wires to reconnect. Just try tacking them on. I think that's going to be sufficient.
No, oh, that hurt. I still have restricted range of motion with my right shoulder. See what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm weighing up how much work it is to turn this whole radio right around to make the solder or versus struggling with it for an extra minute or two. It's worth the struggle here. I can't reach out that far. Guess what? I have to turn it around. I'm too lame, so I'll just turn it around off. Okay, got it turned around. Got a, <coughs> excuse me, a close-up view. So once again, you can see things better than me. Knock the wire off just right at the end there. Let's see. No, seems to be on. <laughs> Let me look with my own uh, magnifier here. That's on. And if the AM radio's performance is really, really poor, I don't know why. What are you looking at there? You're not looking at anything. I can solder that. I really can't see anything here. Oh, 
Uh oh, something doesn't look good at the end there. Looks like I'm not the only one tacking wires. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's give the radio another go. Try the AM side this time. Maybe I should fix down this part of the antenna before I end up yanking it off again. raise it up though front. Okay. And you don't need this FM antenna connected at the moment. Okay, everything's safe. It's a little to reach, reach a long ways with my right arm. Okay, and if you don't know why I'm saying that, uh, you may not have watched the right videos. I fell off my bicycle a couple weeks ago now. Not quite two weeks ago. And I cracked my collarbone. That's, uh, that's the storyline, the story. Okay, I think we're ready to switch this guy on again. Everything looks good. Switching on, you can watch the, uh, watch the excitement with the two lights once again. We go. Come on bright, go down dull. That's the inrush current to the years. Now I should start, these have gone right off practically. They should start coming back. Here they come. Coming back as the currents start flowing through all the tubes. And currently we're still in FM. Now we'll switch to AM. Here we go. Hey, sounds like an AM radio. Let's tune it a bit here. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like a bit of dirt in the capacitor, right? Eh? Oh, I can see I can see a bent plate in the tuning capacitor. Yeah, so we got Trying to determine where the uh, short is occurring. Seems to come a little a little too soon there. I can see the bent plate, but the bent plate is not reaching the point where it's meshing with anything yet. And they're already getting the noise. Let's see what we can see with this. Focus may not be quite right, but now you can see the plate in the group on the right, the most left plate on the group on the right, is uh, pinched. I suspect that's the plate that's making contact. Let's. Uh, sorry for the shaky camera here, but.
at either the outside plate or actually the second plate in is moved slightly. So what I'll do is I'll take a non-conductive material, a piece of stick. I'll bring the radio right to the point where it's making that noise. And then I'll poke the plate that I'm suspicious of. thinking it was at all. It's actually on the other side. And we're talking about just fractional different distances. Okay, let's go. And I think we're going to get another rubbing plate in here. Right in, right in there. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the one I saw. I wonder how these got bent. I'll just bend that out a bit. There we go. Bingo. Okay, cleared the short in the tuning capacitor. Not getting much reception down there, are we? So, now that's very common, that's very typical. Oh boy. I'm watching the wheel down here, the one that's broken. It is so close to dismounting the string, right there. Right at the end of travel, wow. Yeah, this is going to have to be fixed up better, or this string is coming off at some point. I don't think I have another pulley. Almost any pulley would work on there. Get it on the shaft, it would be just fine. Maybe I got something in my Meccano set. might go on there actually. Let's put an external antenna on see if we can't pick something up. So I think this might be the AM here. Yep, sure sounds like it. We'll turn it down. We're on an outdoor antenna now. I have the feeling the YouTube uh, copyright system is going to study this video for quite a while. <laughs> it's good though. Dear Alberta. Can I ask what it is? It's called power swaps, and it whitens your teeth. Reception's quite good. Yeah, I'm not inclined to attempt any kind of tuning of the uh, IF here, or any other tuning, because the set seems to be working quite well. And uh, I don't have in hand, anyway, the uh, instructions for aligning it, um, gee, I'm not sure I had them ever. So I really don't want to fool around with all the alignment stuff. If the radio is working well enough, well enough is well enough. That's, uh, learned that lesson too many times in the past. So, by gory gosh, are we done? I think we're ready now to plug in the, uh, plug in the record player. Oh, I gotta check the uh, FM dial accuracy. 
yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, short wait. Wait a minute, there's still a short wait band. Let's try that out. Okay, so what time is it now? It's somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning. So we'll go up to short wave 3. And I can't read the dial here. Let's see. Short wave 3 is 12. Okay, 15 is down here. My guess is that it's a Radio, Radio Vatican. That's my guess. That's up around 17 megahertz, 17.5. There we go. That's enough evidence for me. What's going on right there? Oh my gosh, my green pointer is too long. <laughs> 